Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Um, and we're finally ready to head over to Gelato Beach. Start like a brand new world here. And my goal for this video is to get at least three shine sprites, three in particular, and then that's gonna trigger like another battle with Shadow Mario and Delfino Plaza. Which shouldn't take too long, so I just want to sort of squeeze that in at the end. Okay, so this is Gelato Beach. Uh, just to give you a little you know, kind of view of it if you haven't seen it already. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of exploring, but for this first mission, I kind of want to just get it over with quickly. It's not very long. There are these little plants everywhere, and you just sort of spray them like this. And they kind of make like some little sand construction just sort of come up out of nowhere. Um, I can't really explain why, just how it is. So anyway, if I could just get out of the way here. We're already heading into one of the secrets of this world. But this one's actually a lot easier than the, some of the other ones we've been doing so far. The main thing here is that uh, you have like these little sand things going on, so... You have to be a little careful, but it's really not that hard. At least compared to some of the ones that I've already done in the past. It's actually kind of weird, because you think they'd, be, they'd all be getting harder. And they will. Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of stressful ones in this game, believe me. This just isn't one of them. Because as long as you do this a lot, you little side jump thing. Very easy to make it up to the, the safe little brown, non-sandy cubes. I don't know what the fuck's called. I'm done already. <laughs> no commentary for this area even needed. Was that short? What sucks is that we're going back there, though, because, uh, you know, like always, there's a little trial with, uh, red coins and a time limit, you know, cause... But in any event, not so bad. It's episode two that's really gonna be time-consuming, it's also the, uh, a lot more fun than I think. So I definitely want to get through that. Alright, so, in the meantime... Shit, I don't even know what to talk about here. I feel like I just did this. So yeah, you just keep... Oh, there are going to be more of those, by the way. That's not the only one that makes these, that little construction come up. There's going to be a lot of them. I'm just sort of ignoring them just to get through this. I'm so surprised it ain't just crashing into the wall there. Um, so yeah, not much to talk about here, just the, the same little game. I don't know what it is about having Flood that it just makes makes it harder for me to actually just nail regular drums. I guess because I know that I can depend on it, so I'm just not as careful. But in any event, uh, really not much to say here. Luckily, these two are on the uh, little safe cubes. I don't know what else to call them. This one isn't really that hard. <laughs> At least with, other, with like other secret levels, it'd be entertaining just in the fact that I'd be screwing up a lot and getting pissed off and you know all that fun stuff. But kind of hard to even screw up here. Very possible though, so you know I'm not gonna rule it out yet. Actually, the, the biggest challenge here is probably the time limit, if anything. Eight, seven, uh, I'm gonna make it, but it's... I guess it makes it more exciting if I pretend that I'm not gonna make it, or that, like, I'm cutting it close, even though I, I know I'm not. If you like that, I kind of just fucking saved myself there, because I sort of saw that coming. I'll admit, I did screw up on that in, the, in a practice run. Alright, so far I'm doing okay. I was gonna maybe edit out actually going back into the secret area, you know, for the second time since I already showed how to get there, but might not even have to do that. And so now this world is finally gonna start getting a little fun. I mean, not, I mean that other one wasn't so bad. Certainly can't complain, at least it wasn't that hard. Um, this one's a lot more fun. I actually like this section a lot. You have this 
giant centipede just sort of chilling there. I, I don't know what the fuck he's sleeping on, but you kind of want to shine light on it from those little solar panel mirror thingies. And this guy's just sort of explaining that. Um, so we get to do a little fighting. A little fighting's always a good thing. Yep. Now, there's probably a lot of ways to get up there, but this is just the way I'm used to, so whatever. If someone else notices that there's like a much like a much shorter way. Um, I'm all open to suggestions, but in all honesty, I don't really care enough to start exploring. This is just what I'm used to doing. Come over here. It's a lot easier to get up here. And then you go on this little umbrella thing and this isn't maybe maybe this isn't the first one you're supposed to go to, but it's really not that bad. The one with three is a little hard. The three of these douches. You just sort of spray them, you just wait till they're like hanging on the edge there, and then you go to the other side, do a little ground pound. Yeah, nothing too complicated, but I don't know, I like this one. So again, I can't really explain to you what the fuck I'm doing by actually uh, shining light on that thing, but it's going to wake that centipede up and then he's actually going to be involved in the next episode. I, I don't want to spoil how, necessarily, but... See, this one's a little more difficult because they like to huddle up together. So you have to spray one while like avoiding the other two, which is kind of annoying. But... Very doable. I wouldn't say by any stretch that this is like the hardest world. It might actually be easier than Rico Harbor, I'm not really sure. In a lot of ways. Oh, you know what's really hard? This is the you know how every world has like a second secret? There's like two of them. The second secret is a bitch, I'll admit. I guess they were making up for the the really easy first one. See, I'm already almost dead here and I don't care because I'm just almost done with this. As soon as I get him to the edge here, we'll start dipping like towards him, so I can just knock him off like that. And that takes care of that. So, oh, I still have to do one more. Yeah, I forgot. You know, the easy one that most people would think to do first. Just as the one guy, so that's all right. Should be all right. As long as I don't get hit three more times. That takes care of him. Um, yeah. I'm not really sure what the fuck that thing even is, to be completely honest. But it breaks him to pieces, and I get a shine spark out of it, so I'm happy. The only thing that sucks is it sends you all the way over there to get it. I'd rather just have the thing in front of me. So I think Shadowmar is going to be coming out now. Is he a rocket nozzle? I'm not sure what the big deal is about having a rocket nozzle, but I guess because it's the first time we'd be able to use one in Delphino Plaza. And I'm also kind of playing this game in a weird, weird order by actually completing all the worlds first before going to the next one. Um, yeah, so i got to find the asshole He's around here somewhere. He's up there, I know that. I just got to figure out how to get up there. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Time to watch. Yeah, see, so just come over here. Um, notice that little thing right there that looks like it could be sprayed? It can, but you kind of need Yoshi in order to do it, and we'll come back to that later on. I think that's either going to be a shine spread or a blue coin or something, but when it comes to the Delfino Plaza related stuff, I'd rather just take care of that at the end once we've cleared through the worlds and whatnot. This asshole's just gonna keep running around making it difficult for me to spray him. Yeah, he's gonna go over there towards those, uh, those stumps, or whatever the fuck you wanna call them, I don't even know. 
<laughs> It'd be nice if we could have just gotten him to trip over like before he even got here. I love getting him with the hover nozzle. It always seems like it kind of like surprises him. From... What the hell? I've never seen that happen. It just got thrown up at me. Shoot, and I was just about to rocket jump too. Yeah, just give me a clue as if we haven't seen this thing a million times. Alright, um, I'm already past 10 minutes, so I'm gonna get going. I'll see you guys in part 19 of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. See you around.